delicious Singapore hawker food at Pasir Panjang Food Center. Welcome to another food adventure with Getting Lost. Well, we are at Pasir Panjang Food Center this time to try some of the delicious good food like this healthy fried pickle. You heard me right, I said healthy. Then we have some rojak, some fruits rojak. After that, some noodles, lor mee. And then we have some rice, nasi padang. So join me as I eat my way through this food center, Pasir Panjang Food Center, and try all the delicious good food here, which will happen after the intro. Welcome back. So what we'll start with is we start with how to get there. What you need to do is you need to get yourself to Pasir Panjang MRT station, which is on the circle line. And once you get out the gantry, you walk straight and take the escalator up to exit A. There's only one exit here, so you won't get lost. So like I said, take the escalator up all the way to the top. Yes, we're heading up there. One thing about this place is if you come here during lunch time, do come early because if you come during normal lunch time, the place will be packed full with people. So once you get out, once you reach the top, you walk straight, then you turn right, then you walk down the stairs. One, two, three, four steps. Then you turn right again. And then you walk straight down that direction. And after you walk past all these bicycle racks and walk down the small little flight of stairs, you will reach Pasir Panjang Food Center, which is along Pasir Panjang Road. Or alternatively, from the gantry again, you can come out walk straight but instead of taking the escalator you go a little bit right and you can actually take the lift up you're actually now at basement one which is the ticketing concourse a concourse for lots of ticketing to be done and of course the gantry so you get into the lift once you're in there you press lem number one which will take you to the street level so there i press one and then the door it will be closing and we'll be going up. So instead of taking the escalator, we're taking the elevator this time. And we're going to take it all the way to the top. And once you reach here, you walk straight down that direction. On my left is actually the escalator. But what you can do is you keep just keep walking straight. And then before the end, you turn right. You see there's such a covered walkway here. And keep walking down. On my left here is actually a car park. You can park your car here if you're, if you're driving here. Then you turn right. And once you turn right, right in front of you is actually the food center. And in front of the food center, there's also another small car park. Right here. So this here is Pase Panjang Food Center. And this food center is just right to pass. It's just right in front or right beside, right along. Pasir Panjang Road and next to Pasir Panjang MRT Station and right in front of the PSA Pasir Panjang Port so there's the Pasir Panjang Road this is the food center and behind there is the port but we're not interested in the port at the moment what we're coming here for is to try the food here and so we'll start with one of the more iconic stores here, which is Heng Huat Fried Kway Teow. And here, they sell what is termed healthy fried kway teow. So here, they sell fried kway teow, but healthy version. 
and there's a wide variety of prices from three dollars to ten dollars i actually ordered the four dollars portion of healthy fried kway teow and here it is first thing i must say is this dish does taste healthy but i'm a bit conflicted about this dish first of all i must say they do cook the noodles here very well fried very nicely more savory than sweet so you have savory well fried nice bite texture noodles that, that you get here but the key ingredient here of when they say it's healthy is they actually dump lots of vegetables on top here the vegetable is actually just blanched and then put on top here so especially the stalks of the vegetables it contains lots of moisture so when you eat the stock it actually dilutes the taste of the noodles so overall here well fried noodles but i think the adding of vegetables dilutes the taste up next we are at this store called lor mee Likes, where they sell lor mee but with different types of topping you can get it together with fried fish fried prawns or a pork cutlet and what I ordered from here is I ordered their lor mee with a pork cutlet which only cost me $3.50 so first thing I must say is the lor mee here uh, is average it's oh good, it's okay it, but the standard here is like standard you get in many food centers nothing really special, nothing really shouts out, nothing spectacular about the lor mee but what you do get is you get this big piece of pork chop here and what can i say is the what attracted me to this store is the price a big piece of pork chop then you have noodles lor mee noodles and it only cost you three dollars and fifty cents so here the noodles are average but value for money 350 and get a big piece of pork chop where can you find that not many places up next we're gonna have something rather fruity and it's from this stall called ks food rojak and here they sell singaporean style rojak which is a fruits rojak not only do they have this normal fruit rojak they also have their barbecue version where they add in other ingredients but i just ordered their basic fruit rojak which cost me three dollars first of all it has very nice crunchy uh, utl or deep fried dough and then there's also nice fruits here like apple vegetables like cucumber bean sprouts pineapple so all of it here all held together a very nice a very well balanced flavorful sweet fermented prawn paste which is really good a very nice flavor of that prawn paste here and this paste here gives it a very delicious very strong flavor of, of sweet savory slightly sour done very well coats everything thickly and then you put in peanuts on top oh very flavorful very fragrant very nice and cheap to three dollars for this plate here so if you want a good plate of fruits rojak cheap and good this is where you find it at this store and lastly we are at the store at this food center with the longest queue called al esan and here they sell nasi padi people around this area here start queuing up before lunch time to eat the food here so i decided to give it a try too so here are all the different items they have on top there are the deep fried items like fish chicken and then here they've got the other items like vegetables rendang and then uh, vegetables curries and stuff so what i ordered from here is this plate here which cost me four dollars which is actually a very affordable price for nasi padang especially if you go to those expensive stores you'll pay much more for it so first thing here is their yeah, chili the chili here this sambal chili is very different than other places here not only do you have a nice spicy fermented taste but it's also a bit sweet which is different from other places then you have the beef rendang there on top the beef rendang there done very well nicely flavored uh, the seasoning and flavoring all 
penetrates through to the meat and the meat is nice soft and tender and you eat it together with the rice very good then you have this here the vegetables at the bottom there which is called sayo lode which is basically just cabbage with a coconut curry which goes very very well with rice then on my right on top there you have the sambal goreng which here they didn't really do very well the flavors are just okay the vegetables are a bit undercooked but everything here done very well goes very well together with the chili done whew, spicy and good and so this brings us to the end of our food adventure here at this food center Pasir Panjang food center and this place here previously I've been here before but I didn't actually plan to actually come here to do any videos because I didn't find this place very interesting but with my experience at Bukit Merah Central which I actually felt the same thing but I found interesting food there so I decided to come back here and explore this place here and have another food adventure here which I'm glad I did because I find some interesting things here interesting food items and like I said this is the end of our food adventure here at this food center so please do me a favor please help me by liking my video sharing my video and also subscribing to my channel and lastly but the most important thing the thing that you have to do is join me for my next food adventure i will see you there bye bye